As much anticipated as the Breeders' Cup Classic is on Saturday, the highlight to Friday at the Breeders' Cup is clearly the distaff. Talk about a big three. Stellar wind, Songbird, and Beholder. We start with the undefeated Songbird and her preparations leading to the distaff out this morning at Santa Anita. Yeah, it's going to be very interesting whether she is the favorite in the distaff. I think a lot of people feel she is just because of her undefeated record, but a lot of the numbers players are saying she's not as fast as Stellar Win or Beholder. She looks very good in this workout. and She's got her ears pricked. Looks like she's waiting on a command and does it very, very easily. I thought this was very, very well done. I mean, she couldn't be doing any better. You know, Karina Mia is the only one that's really gotten up to her and sort of tested her, and she turned her away. But she's going to have to turn away two really nice mares here in Beholder and Stellar Win. going to be very interesting how this race plays out. All three of them have a little bit of speed. All three of them can be tactical. I, I don't know how Mike's going to ride this race, whether he just goes for broke. Gary Stevens and him, good friends. It is an intriguing, intriguing race. And you got some others in there. You're going to get amazing prices like Ama Chatterbox and some yeah. other horses. Yeah, we saw Ama Chatterbox uh, be dominant here at Keeneland, but obviously not against this type of competition. Who else? I mean, okay, so Songbird's the favorite, right? Songbird's favorite, right? Um, what? I think, I think Songbird's favorite. Here's the thing. You know, Stella Wynn has now beaten Beholder two times in a row. Is she going to be check and choice? Is she going to finally get her due? Remains to be seen. I think Alma Chatterbox will be your fourth choice with Carolina and maybe Karina Mia. Karina okay, so Mia maybe can get the distance at what this type racetrack. Of, what type of favorite are we talking about with Songbird? Eight to five favorite? I would say so. Maybe nine to five. All oh, three okay. of those um, areas are going to get um, played. And it's going to be very interesting. I, I, I tend to side right now with Stellar Wind just because I think that horse has got so much want. What a field in the distaff. I know it's only nine free entries, but why would you want to take on Beholder, Songbird, and Stellar Wind? And let's move our attention to Beholder. Uh, the other talk with Beholder is the fact that this is going to be the final start of her amazing career. As we watch this workout this morning, you can't help but start to think what her place in history is going to be like. If she goes out on this losing streak, does it even affect how you view her place in history? But if she were to win this distaff, it does enhance her, right? Yeah, I would think so. It really does. And you can see by design here they're taking her back off her workmate. And here's the thing for Beholder. Songbird could be the best thing for her because she has not had a horse that truly has front-end speed. And if you go back to the TVG Pacific Classic of two years ago,